At midnight, another Mardi Gras season in the books in Mobile. Of course, it rained a lot of the Mardi Gras season, but what a day Fat Tuesday was. News 5's Dana Winter is live in downtown Mobile with more. Well, Mel, the beads may not be getting thrown off of floats any longer, but you can tell Mardi Gras parades came through here if you just look up. Happy Mardi Gras! Fat Tuesday may be getting swept away now, but the good times kept rolling in downtown Mobile. I got the pillow. You got a pillow? Yeah. Is that probably the most fun thing you've caught out here so far? Yeah. Some waited hours, making sure they got a front spot along the parade route. How long have you been waiting? We've been here all day. All day? We came in especially for the parade and staying overnight at the Battle House. While people focused on getting the best throws, they also had to fight off the cold. But as we found, some people had experience staying warm. How have you been able to deal with the cold temperatures? I'm from Boston. I'm used to it. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you're a pro used to these cold temperatures. The beans are not getting to you. No, I'm fine. I'm having a great time. And while those good times are getting cleared away, they're making room for next year. Well, Mardi Gras may be winding down, but organizations are already planning for next year's parade. And if you hurry out, you may still be able to find an intact moon pie. These are a rare commodity. Most of them are just smashed on the street. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5.